The Pacific Southwest power outage that happened in September of 2011 had a lot of interesting characteristics to it. First of all, uh, two states and two countries were involved. There were five balancing authorities that were involved. Very hot day in, in September. Uh, temperatures were 110 to 15, 115 degrees in the desert. Along the coast, they were 80 degrees. We were near a record peak demand when one of the 500 kV lines in Arizona was disconnected. And then there was a series of events that eventually resulted in an outage to about 7 million people altogether in Mexico, Arizona, and Southern California. This was one of the events as we looked at the restoration for that for the first time brought back both social media and the smart grid technology to try to help restore power and also to communicate with customers in a very effective way. The, the social media area was very important because once the power outage happened, the wireless systems from a voice standpoint uh, were not available for at least 30 to 60 minutes. They were overloaded and so everybody had to find another way to communicate. Well, we started with Twitter. 14 minutes after the event started, uh, we were out Twittering and we sent out 130 tweets during this entire outage to make sure our customers uh, understood what was going on. Our number of followers increased tenfold during that period of time, so it was a very effective mechanism. We used emails. We pushed 600,000 emails out into the system. We had over, over a quarter million hits on our, our website, people trying to understand what was happening at that point in time. So all of the media channels came into play. We used traditional uh, television as well, but most people did not have their TVs on, but we found there were areas that where people had cogeneration or outside of our system they received the television and then were calling back into people inside uh, of our area so it was very effective networking of the social media that was really important here uh, secondly with respect to the smart grid the smart grid was uh, used to speed the restoration we had automated control from our control center of all of our elements we were able to target specific customers that had some difficulties. Uh, normally we would restore this system starting with the high voltage system, working down into the mid voltage and then the lower voltage. But in this instance we found there were several hospitals that had uh, some of their backup systems did not work. We found some pump stations that did not have backup that really needed the backup for water and sewage uh, from a public safety standpoint. So we used our smart grid capabilities to target restoration to those customers much earlier than we would have ever uh, had done before. So this was one of those areas where bringing together the social media and the smart grid capabilities of a system really worked to get our customers back online uh, very quickly and I think we're hopeful that both of these elements will play a great role in the future on the reliability of our system.